our channel. Hey. I'm Cheyenne. I'm Eric. Um, and today, well, for Christmas, we got a whole bunch of different flavored M&Ms that I did not know existed. You know my arm is this long? Look at that. You're a big dude. The thing said. Not good. I can reach across this frame almost. Sorry. <laughs> Welcome back to the <laughs> channel. <laughs> Video. So for Christmas, we got a whole bunch of different flavored M&M's um, that I didn't know existed. I didn't know M&M's had this many flavors. So last night, my mom, my mom was here all weekend. So which is why this video is coming out late. But last night, my mom and I ate. Was it last night or the night before? Last night. Uh, well, last night we ate the entire bag of the fudge brownie M&M's, which were delicious. So the ones we have here are sugar cookie M&M's. Popcorn M&M's, mint, mint M&M's, and caramel M&M's. So we put them in these bowls, and we're going to try them and see if we can guess which one it is. Now, these are all pretty distinct flavors. I have no doubt that we'll be able to figure it out. But yeah. I also feel like we should rank them in our own personal choice, least, best to least, like, one through four. Okay, we can do and that. And we can compare. Well, but I had these last night, too, and they're not bad this time. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, we got anyway. mostly reds and browns. They got two reds and two browns. I kept the same color because, you know, some people think that different, are different m m colors different flavors? No. I didn't think so, but some Just people think they are. That's what I thought. I mean, like Brown different flavors. And here's the real question. Are different colored Skittles different flavors? Yes. See, but a lot of people don't think so. But they are because the inside is a different flavor and the inside is colored the same as the outside color. Um, so different colored Skittles are different flavors. Let us know in the comments. Are Skittles different colors? Yes. Are they different flavors? Athena. Our cat is playing with Don't the pull over Stop. the phone. Go. Yeah. All right. So we want to start the. Um, I want to start over here. First. Yeah. Let's do. Let's do brown, brown red, brown, 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 brown red. red. There we go. Okay. No, this one's for you. Oh, this one's for me. Because it's the bigger one. It's thick. Thank you. That's obvious. This is the caramel one? Yeah. yeah. Caramel. caramel. Got it right. Dude, when you really, when you, first time you bit into it, it was just like, and you, your teeth would go through the chocolate, through the candy, through the chocolate, and this just This one you have stuck. to like think about for a second. It would just get stuck in that cement. All right. I'm gonna cleanse. Are you gonna cleanse the palate here? There's absolutely nothing in this cup. No. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. All right. We got this next one. Red. About average size. About the size of a peanut M&M. I'd say. A little bit. A little smaller. But they're not as round no. as a peanut M&M. They're flatter. Mint. Obvious. <laughs> Tastes like a Andy's candy, actually. Mm -hmm. That's really good, though. Do you even have to flip over the paper? It's that mint. Mint. No. <laughs> All right, now do you want to go with this brown or this red? Nope. Go with both. <laughs> oh, maybe red. What are we thinking? The brown. We're doing brown, red, brown, red. I'm sorry. Gosh. All right. Oh, smell it. Smell it. You smell it? I smell fingernail glue. Oh. I just did my nails. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. <laughs> that's the strangest thing I've ever tasted. <laughs> oh, that was weird. Is it pumpkin? Yeah. I think I need to try another one. A bigger one. Because those were little and I couldn't really Yeah, they were it. small, but like... Okay. Was, like as soon as you, you bit it... It was crunchy. It was like... It just crumbled in your mouth. Like, you know how you bite a chip and it just crumbs in your mouth? Same thing happened there, but it was an M&M. &M. It was the strangest thing. Let's see I still can't really taste the popcorn. It's the aftertaste. And if you bite a cross section. See? But it's not even like popcorn in there. It's like popcorn flavored crisp. Like somebody like flavored a rice crispy popcorn. Well, 
Oh, it says artificial, it says artificial flavors. flavors. There's no actual. Yeah. That's a little disappointing. M&M, they game up. I was expecting there to be like an actual piece of popcorn Like a chocolate covered popcorn type deal? Yeah. All right, well, I feel like we kind of know what this is. I want someone to try it. <laughs> what is it with these crunchy M&Ms? I don't feel like it tasted like a sugar cookie. It tasted like they just poured sugar in there. We gotta try another one. Hi, Jezebel. This is Jezebel. Hey, baby. Our little baby. This is my cat. Yeah. You wanna try another one? Alright. Well, if you're trying to say that that tastes like sugar cookies, you are strongly mistaken. All right, what's your ranking? What's your... Okay, I like caramel the best. What's your... You like caramel the best? Mm-hmm. See, I like mint the best. You're right, now that I said that, I forgot we had the mint. See, but I am a mint chocolate chip guy. Like, I, I like the mint the best, and then the caramel. Like, if we go to cookout for milkshakes, I'll get a mint chocolate chip milkshake. I don't know if that makes me, like, qualify for, like, the senior citizen discount or something. I like mint chocolate chip. Yeah, but you don't go and order a mint chocolate chip. No, I have to be, like, in the mood for it. So, yeah. Okay, so I say the mint and then the caramel, and then I have to put the sugar cookie over the popcorn. No, incorrect. <laughs> mint, caramel, popcorn, then sugar cookie. I put the sugar cookie over the car over the popcorn because the sugar cookie you can actually taste something besides the chocolate, whereas in the popcorn you couldn't taste that it was popcorn. Um. Yes, you can taste it. That's supposed to taste like popcorn. It doesn't. But they're liars. This just tastes like they're liars. like crap. <laughs> they're this, liars. This is terrible. Is what they are. Ooh, yeah, they're liars for sure. Now here's what you do. <laughs> take a bag of popcorn, and then just take a bag of regular M and M's, and then just kind of mix them in there and put them in a bowl the next party. And then, like, every couple of M&M's, someone's going to think they ate, like, a rotten M&M or something. Because it's going to taste weird, and it's going to be crunchy, and they're going to they're gonna think something's wrong with it. Yeah, that's true. Then got rude. It would be rude. No, what's really rude? Maybe we should do that at our rehearsal dinner. You know what would be rude? Putting peanut M&M's at an allergy center. That's just wrong. <laughs> that is just really wrong. I'm sorry. But all right. Well, Did are those the only bags we have? Yeah, you ate the rest of them. Mm. I only had those two bags yesterday. Okay, well that's six bags of M&M. -M. You had one that's not a lot. Okay, well one of them was a caramel. Uh -huh. We only had five different flavors. Mm -hmm. oh. Well, if you have any other interesting flavors of M&Ms you think we should try, please let us know. Jezebel. Get off of the table. Get off, get off the table. Get off the table. Get off the table. Mm. Please let us know. Or if you liked one of these flavors more than we did, go Tell ahead and say why. something about it. I would like to know. Yeah. Um, but that's all we have. That's all we have for today. A little quick today. little video. It's been a busy week. Yeah, it has. But um, hope it stops raining and snowing across America soon. Yes. But we will see you later. Make sure to like and subscribe.